In this video, I'm going to cover everything that you need to know about entering a trend reversal trade, why it's so damn dangerous to do, all the things that you should look out for, and where your take profits should be, and how you should trail your stop losses to get the most amount of money out of every single trade. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable. I'm gonna try to get this all done in under five minutes, so let's jump into the charts. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. It does not matter what time frame you are trading, the higher time frame, the bigger the move, but overall, when price is going in a specific direction, you want to draw a trend line and only when the trend line has three touches is it then valid. The issue with most people when they are taking trend reversal trades, you guys know I constantly talk about divergences. If you look at the RSI at this point right here, you can see that the RSI was extremely overbought at 79. Price came down, pulled back up, and at this point, it created a higher high with the RSI at 72. Now you can see it a little bit better. 80 right here, and on the next higher high, 72. Most people would see the divergence and enter in a short position. Stop loss above the swing high and essentially what they want to do is target that previous swing low. The issue with doing this is that price will not break this uptrend until that trend line is broken and retested or just broken with a lot of momentum. It's best to always wait for a break and a retest. But if you have proper risk management, you can end up losing this trade and still be fine if you are still fighting for that trend reversal trade. So as price went up to create a new higher high, there was no longer a divergence there. But overall, you can still see a divergence from this high to this high, right here, high point, right here, high point, right here, high point, right here, lower, still a valid divergence. Then price came up to make an additional higher high. You can see a high and a higher high, high point, and a lower high, an additional divergence. Price came down a lot, but rejected the trend line and continued up. Once price has broken the trend line, you are looking for price to come back up and test this uptrend before rejecting and then going down. Now, when you look at price like this, it broke that previous uptrend. Now what we're waiting for price to do is break below this area. Because if you think about a traditional way to trade this, entering in a long position here like that. So if this is a buy order, so if people get in at this price and they're assuming the price will go up, their stop loss is right here. A stop loss is essentially a sell order. So if price does choose to come down this area, that means that there are a lot of sellers up here pushing the price down, trying to get to these sell orders, which would cause the price to cascade even further. So when thinking about market structure, bullish market structure is depicted by a low, a high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low and a higher high. But if it fails to create that higher high, that means that market structure is broken. We've broken market structure right here because we had a failure to make a higher high and we have also broken the uptrend. Now you can start getting ready for short positions. After rejecting this area, you can preemptively get in here with a stop loss above that swing high because it failed to make the higher high. But the likelihood of that trade playing out is lower because it still has not hit this liquidity zone a bunch of sell orders living here. You can see price rejected that same area, meaning that is a level of support because looking left, you can see that price used it as resistance previously, broke through and used it as support. But again, support and resistance are meant to be broken. And you can see if you got into that trade too early and didn't wait for the momentum, you can get stuck in a trade for a very long time. Once trade has broken that area and hit the liquidity, that's when price starts moving a lot quicker. Again, another break and retest. 
So essentially, if you actually waited for this liquidity area, you could have had a much smaller stop loss and a higher risk to reward, a 1 to 7.6 versus a 1 to 6. Waiting for the better entries is the better course of action. And because you are swing trading, you are moving your stop loss along the way. So you need to have a clear definitive swing up and a swing down, then move your stop loss to break even. Then as price goes down and swings past, its previous low point, your new stop loss is now there, meaning that it is a 100% risk-free trade until price eventually gets to your take profit area, which in swing trading is going to take a very long time. I'm not a big fan of it. I like scalping because I like to be in and out of my positions in a very short amount of time. And for those of you that noticed, yes, this is on a weekly chart, but this trend line and pattern and divergences happens on every single time frame. I just wanted to show you the true potential of of a trend reversal trade on a higher time frame, 4,055 pips. That's a lot of money. The issue is it's 1,358 days. If, however, you do decide to do this on a smaller time frame, the rules are exactly the same. You're looking for divergences across these tops. As you can see, you're getting divergences here as price is making higher highs breaking the trend line, waiting for the break and retest, entering a short position, and targeting the swing low. 18 pip stop loss, 194 pip take profit, risk to reward 1 to 10. It works on every single time frame. This is the 15 minute, it works on the one minute, it works on the five minute, it works on the weekly. Whatever you wanna do, whatever constraints you wanna put yourself in, whatever time frame works best for you, do that. But the concept is the same across all time frames. If you wanna learn more about this, watch this video right here. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe if you have not already. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.